I'm going to take a little look at swing beats and swing strums today. Now, it's a term swing strum that um, gets mentioned very often and I don't actually hear it explained very much and it really is quite important. And normally at this time of the year in school, I'd be teaching it um, to the students because a lot of Christmas music has a swing beat. So what is a swing beat? Right, um, if you think of it, we could have a swing beat or a straight beat. I'll play you a straight beat first of all, down, down, up, down, down, up. And it would sound something like down, a straight beat whereas the swing strum again down down up down down up would sound down down up 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 down okay right i'm gonna just touch on the theory side of this for a minute don't worry you don't need to understand it but it will help uh, if you read music. So, down, down, up. In musical notation or values, we'd call that crotchet, quaver, quaver. Or in American uh, values, um, quarter, note, eighth note, eighth note. All right, down, down, up. The first down is twice as long. So, in a straight beat, okay, they would be equal. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. But in the swing beat, the second two strums, the second, the down and up, okay, wouldn't be equal and they become a triplet. What on earth does that mean? Don't panic. A triplet just means you're, you're ramming three notes into the same space that there were two, all right? If you actually look at it written out, you can see the middle note of the three is crossed out, okay? So you're still only playing the same number of notes, down, down, up, but that up is a little bit later than it was before, all right? Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. So you're missing that middle one of the three, okay? When I first heard the term um, swing, or I was told, swing it, and I thought, I don't know what that means. I was playing double bass in a big band, playing swing music when I was maybe 13 or 14. Um, and again, the conductor said, no, play a swing beat. And somebody quickly came over and explained that the two quavers become a triplet with the missing one, okay, in the middle. Now that's great if you understand note values, um, but it's a bit more difficult. You've got to sort of feel it a little bit more. Now, yes, I understood what that meant straight away and I started playing a swing beat. Um, and don't worry, I will explain swing rhythms on the bass ukuleles very soon as well. Um, so I started playing a swing beat. It took me quite a lot longer to really get the feel of it. Okay, and that's what it's all about. So how do you know if a piece of music or a song is swing or straight? Um, well, it doesn't get written out if you're reading it as notation. It doesn't get turned into triplets. It's still written out as normal quavers or quarter notes. Um, but you will just have that word swing written at the very start of the piece of music. And it has a huge impact on the way the song or the music sounds. It could well be that you've been playing songs um, and you've thought, hang on, I'm doing the strum right. I know I'm playing it at the right time, but there's something not quite right. And it could just be as simple as you were playing it as a straight beat and it should be a swing or vice versa. You were playing it as a swing beat and it should have been a straight beat. So I'm just going to take a look at a few different, very easy songs, which will hopefully explain um, swing beat compared to straight beat. 
Okay, so straight beat to start with, rocking all over the world. Um, the strum pattern for this is down, down, up, down, down, up, with a straight beat. the straight strum, the normal strum beat, down, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, and one, two, and Okay, the down and ups are equal, okay? Uh, right, let's try a swing beat now. Um, I'm trying to keep them nice and similar in terms of chords, so I thought Lion Sleeps Tonight's a good example of a swing beat using those chords. So a bit of the lion sleeps tonight, swing strum. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the quiet jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Ooh, and so on, okay? Now, I'm going to attempt to play them the wrong way round so you can actually see sometimes how it doesn't fit. So rocking all over the world with a swing strum. Well, here we are and here we are and here we go. All aboard cause we're hitting the road. Here we go. Whoa. Rocking all over the world. It's actually quite difficult to do it the wrong way, okay? If, if you used to playing it the right way um and a little bit of uh what was the other one i was just doing lion sleeps tonight but with a straight beat this is really hard i'm sure right okay that those are the wrong way around then so we'll try a couple more here is sam cook's wonderful world this has got a straight strum um island strum i think a straight beat to down down up up down up down down up up down up down down up okay and a swing strum waterloo abba okay absolutely classic because it's down up down up down up down up all right so a swing strum I'm going to attempt it. I'm not sure if I can. My, my. At Waterloo, Napoleon did surrender. Oh, yeah. It just doesn't feel right. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so hopefully that's explained the difference between a swing strum and a straight strum. When it comes to practising, um... It is obviously better to try and actually play a song, but it is sometimes a good idea just to do, don't forget, I'd almost forgotten, I've done some drum backing tracks. All right, now this would be a really good way of practicing your different strums, doing it that way. All right, so yeah, nip over and have a go with those because that might be a really good way of doing it. Pick a chord, um, let's just go with C. So straight strum. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then try it swing. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. And never be afraid. 
frightened to do it slower. Down, down, down. So straight. Swing. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. I do hope this video and lesson has helped. Um, as I said, it's something that you don't need to understand theory to really get. Um, but if you understand the triplet and the quaver um, quarter note thing, great. It's about the feel of it. All right, listen to the music. Does it skip along or does it sort of march along? All right. As always, you know what to do. Please feel free to leave a comment or a question below if you've got one. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.